The current territory of the Republic of Djibouti is located at the center point of separation between the Nubian plate to the west, the Arab plate to the north, and the Somalian plate to the east. In this depression, where the Earth's crust is only a few kilometers thick, there is a quasi-permanent seismic activity. It is also one of the places on Earth with the most volcanoes. Every day, several earthquakes are recorded and reflect the intense geological activity in this unique region of the world. A region where one can readily witness the tearing of a continent. This singularity is nonetheless the reason nowadays of a constant geological instability. The largest earthquakes occur mainly in the vicinity of tectonic plate boundaries. Earthquakes are actually barely sensed on a daily basis due to their low magnitude. The major earthquake risk in the Republic of Djibouti remains nonetheless very important and with incalculable consequences. The Republic of Djibouti only has two seasons. The cool season is usually accompanied by rains that feed the country's scarce water resources. In recent years, the country has been experiencing an unprecedented drought. The advent of modern research techniques have allowed for a more in-depth study of a climate phenomenon known as El Niño. The periodic disturbance of this ocean current off the Peruvian coasts is causing serious climate changes across the globe. Djibouti, with its extreme weather conditions, suffers severely from the most devastating effects of these uncontrollable natural phenomena. The consequences of the drought are highly disastrous for the pastoral population.
The weather forecasts for the next few decades do not foresee any improvements. Temperatures may go up, and a rise of sea level by over 30 centimeters is foretold. With increasing temperatures, accentuating evapotranspiration and infiltration of the seawater in the groundwater, the rare water resources of the country could one day disappear. If these worrisome forecasts are not quickly countered, by extraordinary measures, the very survival of the population of the Republic of Djibouti could in the future be seriously compromised. Over 80% of Djibouti's population lives along the coasts of the Republic of Djibouti, notably in the capital. The human impact on the Djiboutian coast has increased the risks of flooding during severe weather situations. Aggravating factors such as soil sealing due to a severe drought can transform a sudden rainstorm into a raging torrent of mud capable of creating, in a few hours, a catastrophic situation. Furthermore, Djibouti city is bisected by a wadi that repeatedly has been the cause of most deadly floods the country has had to endure over the past decades. Epidemics are often consecutive to large floods. The first victims of cholera and malaria are unfortunately children and the weak or elderly. The smallest country in East Africa with its semi-arid climate, its lands formed by recent volcanic activity, and almost no exploitable natural resources, has no other wealth than its advantageous geopolitical position.
Earthquakes, droughts, floods are largely responsible for chronic impoverishment of the population and the economic recession of the country. These natural phenomena cannot, unfortunately, be avoided, but can be managed optimally. Djibouti, because of its geographical configuration and its climatic characteristics, presents a very high level of vulnerability. Understanding the causes of this vulnerability and quantifying the various threats are all goals to develop a culture of risk in all state bodies. This multidisciplinary management at all levels of the Djiboutian society can limit or even permanently stop the most dramatic effects of these natural disasters, thus sustaining the economy and allowing the young Republic of Djibouti to secure its future with serenity.